Hello everybody, welcome back! Today I'm going to be starting on my Moogle wings for my Delivery Moogle cosplay that I'm doing for KupoCon. Now that the Final Fantasy Fan Fest was announced for Vegas next year, possibly for that too. The way I want to do the wings is I really wanted them to have like a very three-dimensional feel to them and I did not want to make them from like fabric or foam so my friend Miss Missy Mia ended up 3D modelizing them for me and printing them out and what I asked her specifically is that I wanted to be able to put magnets at the back specifically three I could place matching magnets to an underneath structure so I could just place the wings over whatever my husband and I are wearing. If ever you're interested in making these, whether it's for yourself or a cosplay of something else or for a doll, because I know she told me she would make smaller versions like for ball jointed dolls, they are available online for sale. Not the 3D printed ones, if I'm not mistaken, but she sells the 3D files. So I'm gonna put her store probably in the description box below. It might also appear somewhere on screen. And you can take a look, and if I have more information from her by then, I'll also put it in the description box below. So yeah, anyways, that aside, let's take a look at the pieces together. Okay, so... She ended up printing them out for me in three pieces. So they go like this with this piece. So this would be one wing and this would be the other one. So what I have to do is essentially she put little holes in them so I can put in rods and glue the whole thing together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them all the pieces together. I'm not sure with what glue yet, but I think I have something in mind. And once everything is glued, I'm going to sanding, initial sanding, and then I'm going to XTC 3D, which is like a resin coat over them and kind of flatten this part out. So, so this is also where the magnets are gonna go. She made them to, I think it's 15 millimeters, which is what I asked for so I can place the ones that I bought in here. And hopefully it'll work. If it doesn't, what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna end up probably, I don't know, we'll see when we get there. We'll troubleshoot later, but I'm gonna start by gluing everything together so that I can get it all ready to be resin coated. Okay, so I first started by inserting some metal wire to help the pieces stick together. Essentially, it's used to reinforce the pieces so that they are less likely to break. It might be better to use non-flexible rods for this, but since time was of the essence and I needed to get this done, I just used whatever I happened to have on hand. Once my pieces of wires were all cut to size, I used regular super glue to reinforce the wires in the holes. So essentially, since they were smaller than the sizes I needed for the holes, they were a little wobbly, so the glue allows them to be a little bit more steady and sturdy. The glue I used is nothing fancy, it's just super glue from my local dollar store. I used the same super glue to attach all the pieces together and made sure to hold the pieces to each other until the glue was fully dried through. I also made sure to focus on one wing at a time, again making sure that each piece that I was attaching to each other was thoroughly dried through before moving on to the next section of the wing. Alright, so yesterday I finished gluing all my pieces together. Uh, the super glue actually worked out really well, but I still think it would probably be too fragile to leave as is. I looked online to try to find like the best way to kind of give it a nice finish and initially I was thinking of using XCC 3D but my XCC 3D has kind of dried out. It's not good anymore and I would have to buy more. And XCC 3D is really expensive. So I, I did some research to see if like there was other options and I found people using UV curing resin. So I ordered everything online yesterday and uh, what I ordered is essentially like a UV curing resin and a UV lamp 
and also some goggles because uh, you don't want to burn out your retina. I bought everything. It's supposed to arrive sometime soon. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on sanding at least roughly a first time my wings, especially because there's some areas that are really, really lumpy. And we'll see how things turn out. While I was waiting for my materials to arrive, I decided to get started on the harness piece that I'd be wearing under my clothes and that my wings would attach to. I used the classic cosplay method of just wrapping my mannequin with moving tape followed by regular tape. I suggest using duct tape here, but again, I was pressed for time, so I just used what I had on hand. Once I was done with that, I marked where I'd want my wings to sit on my back and then designed the shape of the harness around that. I went ahead and cut out my pattern pieces. And then made a quick mock-up to see if the magnet theory that I had actually worked. It didn't, but I will circle back to this later. After I finally received all my materials to finish my wings, it was time to give them a resin coat to help smooth out the surface and reinforce the joints. Some of my joints had huge gaps, so it was really important to reinforce the whole build. For this section, I got most of my information from Van Oak's Props on YouTube, so go see him for more in-depth instructions. For now, here's the bridge version. I applied my liquid resin onto my wings in small deliberate sections. I suggest using a small amount of resin and building layers slowly to avoid adding lumps to your finished coat. Using a foam piece, I tried my best to spread out the resin as evenly and smoothly as possible. Once I felt everything was good, I set my piece under the UV lamp for two minutes to cure the resin in place. Remember to wear protective goggles for this so you don't burn out your retina. I had to ask my husband to make sure, but the light is no longer dangerous when filmed and viewed through the video. Now in between each layer, you want to make sure to properly sand your resin. I'm starting with a low grit sandpaper and slowly working my way to a higher grit sandpaper for as smooth of a finish as possible. I ended up doing about three layers of resin per section per wing, which took forever, but if I was honest with myself, I think each layer could have used a little bit more sanding in the end. For the time I had allotted, I think it turned out okay. Okay, so I finally finished making all my wings. Well, making, I mean like covering them with resin. I don't think it's 100% perfect. I feel like I could easily spend another five to six hours sending them down and make sure that everything is like extremely smooth but I'm a little bit short on time and once I finish painting these I still need to finish the harness that goes with them. I want to give myself a little bit of time to make sure to finish all that. We're just gonna move on with the painting. I'm gonna make sure to give them two to three coats of priming hoping that you know it'll help kind of smooth out some areas a little bit more, but also I'm gonna go in and put uh, some shading in some areas which will also kind of hide some of the flaws. So I think it'll be okay. I have three of them here with me. I have the other one outside and ready to be painted. It's very nice out today. So the fun thing here is like, because I have the magnets at the back, yeah, I'm actually able to set them against the cardboard, uh, magnetize them so I can easily like I'll be painting essentially one side down like this and then when I'm ready to move on to the other side I'm gonna just prop it up and finish that side and then let it dry which is cool because it's just gonna make the process a bit faster than waiting for one side to be completely dry to do the other side I'm gonna do that and yeah <clears throat> I guess we can get started now. The first thing I'm gonna do here is to properly prime all my pieces. I'm using the Mission Models Primer in Black here that I reduced using the Mission Models Thinner. 
I'm going to give them all at least three to four coats before moving on to the base color layer. The colors I ended up using to make my wings are as follows. A mix of pearlized purple and iridescent electric blue, about three to one mixed with a splash of transparent black from the auto air colors. This will serve as my base layer. I'm then going to add a second light coat of just the pearlized purple to add some extra sheen and really give it that purple look. The same mixture as the base is also going to be used with more opaque black to do all the shading in the wings. I also went ahead and added some highlights using the base mixture but this time without any black and instead using a lot of transparent white to lighten the color. Right now I'm attempting to deepen the darker shades with black acrylic paint. I then decided to give it my own artistic touch by adding in some lighter colored freckles to my wings. I first started with heavily diluted paint that I splashed randomly onto the wings and afterwards I came in and added some more opaque spots here and there to create a little more dimension. Last but not least, I sealed everything with a top matte coat. Okay, so I finished my wings, which means I can now focus my attention on my two harness. The way I'm going to do it is essentially I have this piece which is made from a like a double knit stretch so it doesn't stretch too much. I have these pieces which are woven, woven. And I have these pieces which are meant to kind of reinforce the bottom part. So I'm going to make the harness out of that and I'm going to have the magnets sewn onto this piece and the double knit and then I'm just going to put this piece kind of on top uh, so you they, they become a bit more subtle. I'm gonna have uh, an elastic that goes across the front under the breast and then I'm gonna have one that comes up and around to the side. So that would be the harness where we magnetize the wings but for the wings themselves I'm gonna have a little plate the plate is essentially going to help give me a, a position to put an extra magnet in the center. Then I'm going to have two magnets on each side, virtual five magnets per set of wings. And they're really strong magnets, so I'll, I'll put a link to the magnets that I bought somewhere on screen. But they're very strong magnets. Having the bar just makes it a bit more secure and it prevents the wings from collapsing or like falling to the side. But because there's a plate and I don't want people to see the plate, I'm just going to cover it in fur. So it's going to look a little bit more subtle on the back. So that's the plan. I have one week to finish this. Uh, today we are Monday. And I have to have them done by Saturday. And I have to do a little bit of modifications to another piece of garment. So we'll see how things go, but hopefully they'll go well. Let's get started. For my plate, I'm going to be using my leftover bag stiffener from my last project. For those of you who haven't seen it, I've put up a video on how I made my Moogle bags and that's when I used this particular product. I have so much of it left and like I've said, time is of the essence here, so I'm just using what's available at home. To make it extra sturdy though, I'm going to be doubling up the layers for the plate. So my magnets have holes in the center of them, which are meant for screws, so you can easily screw them in place for certain projects. I'll be able to screw the side magnets straight into my wing, but for the center magnet, I'll need to sew it on. For this, I'll be punching in a center hole. And once I've marked the outer edge of my magnet, I'll be punching in a series of holes all around it, which will allow me to sew the magnet into place. When placing my wings, I'm highlighting the area where my holes are and pressing them onto the plate. This will help me locate where to punch small holes into my plate, which will then help me to properly align my screws into the holes of the wings when I'm setting my magnets into place. The reasons I already have holes in my wings is because it was part of the initial design where I was initially going to screw in much smaller magnets, but I've 
since then upgraded to bigger ones, but the screws can still fit into the holes. My wings are now attached to my plate, so we shall move on to the harness itself. The harness was composed of three layers, a stretch jersey, a thick batting, and a woven cotton. The thick batting is just to add a little bit more sturdiness and to make sure that there's a good layer to hook the harness to. I started by loosely hand sewing the batting to the woven piece just to avoid it shifting around later. I used my template to mark where my magnets needed to go. Then I went ahead and sewed every magnet into place. I used a jean thread for this because it's much thicker and it's also much stronger. And because we're gonna be putting weight onto the magnets, you don't want them to break or come undone. I also ran out of big magnets so we can see the little baby magnets at the bottom, uh, that's why. Before sewing, make sure that you have the side that magnetizes to the other magnet because otherwise they repel. So, you know, it's kind of counterproductive here. I'm now pinning my jersey layer down and sewing it into place before turning the whole piece inside out. With this, my magnets will at least be hidden by one layer of fabric. To finish out my harness, I used some thick elastic band with some buckles and Velcro to hold everything into place. The whole thing held really well, to be honest. Now to hide the ugly plate, I decided to cover it with white fur since it'll look a lot cuter and technically Moogles are supposed to be all furry. So I thought it was a good idea. I also thought it would be nice if I added some matching purple fur around the wing. So I went ahead and did that and just used regular markers to do that and used like a um, dog brush to kind of brush the color nicely into the fur. The fur was glued into place using super glue. Again, nothing fancy, it's from my local dollar store. Just make sure to put enough glue everywhere so that everything stays in place nicely. And with that, I was done. So let's go see what it looks like all put together. Boo. I can't say that I am not proud about this because quite the contrary, I'm very proud about these wings. I really wanted my wings to take up like a lot of aerial space like they do in the game. And honestly, I'm really, really happy with how they turned out and they hold really well, which is really what's the most important here. <laughs> because when you're at a con and there's a lot of crowds, people are unavoidably gonna accidentally hit them but they don't fall off. I know I've put them through the stress test and they hold, so they're ready for fat fest. But yeah, so that kind of wraps today's video. Maybe I'll see you again, maybe not, but I'll definitely be back. Maybe you can stick around for the next one. I'm gonna be working on some more fun projects and that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it, bye.